Hey guys, welcome back to some more F1 2018 and part 11 of our playthrough in today's episode. We are taking part in the German Grand Prix. There wasn't much really to report in the, the sort of preview bit, so I thought I'd introduce the episode here right in Q3. And uh, hopefully you guys don't mind that. Thank you for all the support on the series so far. Hopefully we can get a pole position around here. And that would be the best possible start to the weekend. So here we come around the final turn. What's it going to be? We come up to the line. And we're only four tenths off. And I think that might be P2. It was weird. There was only me, Max, and Kimmy that came out for a second run there, which is quite unusual. But yes, we come out second place. Hamilton, the captain, and Kimmy Räikkönen. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. So there we have it, Lewis Hamilton on pole, we're second, Kimi in third, but uh, yeah, it's all to play for in tomorrow's race, we've just got to try and take it a little bit more cautiously than we did in Britain, I think when we went for the move on Hamilton into turn three, we'd have probably been better suited sticking behind him and, and maybe having to go into Stoke corner instead, so I think tomorrow just try and get through the first phase of the race in Lewis Hamilton's gearbox maybe have a go into uh, turn two but if not um, then into the 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 big breaking point at turn four perhaps we could do it then but uh, a good qualifying session you know I don't think we quite had the ultimate pace of uh, of Hamilton especially in uh, the, the middle sector for some reason I, I think we do struggle um, with some of the breaking points in there but you know, never mind. It's all to play for tomorrow. A good start and everything will be all right. Let's hand over to David Croft and Anthony Davidson to take you through the German Grand Prix. Good afternoon and welcome to a place that is very special to us all in the Formula One community. It's the Hockenheim Ring, home of the German Grand Prix. Always good for a close scrap is Hockenheim. Think back to Alonso, Ricardo, Vettel as recently as 2014 and I'm expecting some more strong racing today. It's 2.8 miles around the Hockenheim Ring then and some fairly wet conditions to overcome on this 17 corner circuit. The long curved back straight leads into a tight hairpin for the best overtaking opportunity. But expect to see the cars running wide as breaking off line could prove very difficult indeed. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Now I want to ask you about Fernando Alonso. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and the captain completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Ricardo, Sebastian Vettel, and Verstappen, Holkenberg, Grosjean, Magnussen, and Sergio Perez, Ocon, Van Dorn, Lance Stroll, and Leclerc. Alonso, Hartley, Pierre Gasly, and Marcus Ericsson. Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty, and Sergei Sorotkin rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. This is our engine supplier's home Grand Prix. Let's give them a race worth watching. Right then, guys, here we are down on the track. It is wet conditions, unfortunately, for this race, which... You know, throws a spanner in the works, really, doesn't it? But um, hopefully we'll be okay. And uh, we can use these conditions to our advantage. That, that is the plan, anyway. So, yeah, lights out and away we go for the formation lap. Okay, our system checks are good. We need to stay in formation and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tyres and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of the lap. We've 
only really had one good start this year, and you know, I'm I'm not sure whether we can replicate that today in the the wet conditions. Obviously, we did very well in Canada. I think um, you know we were probably the fastest on the track at some points in that, but we got off to a bad start and. Yeah, that, that was our problem, really. But um, hopefully we can get off to a good start today. Maybe even jump Lewis at the start. But we need to stop them getting five in a row. We really do. I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support on the series so far. It has been incredible. Um, I, I say it every episode, but you blow me away with your consistent support. And this will be, hopefully, daily until the end of season one we just completely messed up the uh, the formation lap so let's skip it and get to the race five red lights lights out away we go absolutely perfect getaway from the lights but unfortunately Raikkonen's there as well I don't know how he managed to get there. There's yellow flags at the, the start. I don't know what's happened. But let's have another look at that on the replay. Because that start was terrific. Ah, oh, we can't see it, unfortunately. But, yeah, we sort of took a void in action, didn't we? Because um, Raikkonen was sort of sandwiched between myself and Lewis. I went... To try and uh, help Lewis if you like but um, Reichner made a little bit of contact with us and we took a void in action into turn one I don't know what happened further down but there was some yellow flags oh so there's somebody without a front wing what happened to him looks like perhaps Stoffel van Dorn ow <laughs> that is a uh, a weird one and uh, I was thinking about maybe going to McLaren next season if we get the opportunity but we'll just have to see but uh, certainly a solid start for us and as long as we stay this close okay, we can take you this lap. safety car deployed and we're coming into the pits no doubt about it we're coming into the pits this lap slow your pace immediately Hamilton stays out, we're going to come in and use this opportunity. I don't know why the safety cars come out. I don't think anybody is uh, out of the Grand Prix. But we're in... What? Speeding under safety car? Oh, we're sorting that out straight away. Ah, oh, right, okay, I see it. Right. Oh, we just got away with it. Whew! Right. I mean, that's probably messed up our little advantage of coming in, but we're putting on the slick tyres. Exit, exit now. So, hopefully, this will allow us to get up the speed with them. And hopefully, steal a march on everybody. Because it feels completely dry. Let's see. Well, we lock up massively there. Maybe we've come in too early, who knows. But uh, we've got to catch up to the safety car queue now. And we'll look after the tyres. And you never know, we might have struck strategical gold here. Okay, so we've caught up to the safety car queue now. Pretty much everybody's in the pits. Lewis Hamilton's been disqualified. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know what he's done. Let's let let's see if we can see on the replay. Um, it's difficult to work out where Hamilton is. I don't know. I, I'm assuming he overtook the safety car or something when he was in the pit lane and. He's now been disqualified. That is huge for the championship. 
unfortunate because I think it's a glitch. But uh, you can see we're going to be the lead car once everybody's come in. These are still on intermediates. And this is fantastic news for us. Um, you know, the one solace we can take is that we would have been ahead of Lewis anyway. So what has Lewis been disqualified for? Let's have a little look. Um, ignoring yellow flags, apparently. Very strange. Very, very strange. A few little uh, track extensions for us. Mainly when we were pushing so hard, coming into the pit lane. Trying to get these tyres on. But... Uh, no, that is a huge surprise. That Lewis has been disqualified from the race. But uh, it's an opportunity for us now. And we have to take it. Because Lewis, you know, has won four in a row. Could have been five today. Possibly should have been five. Let's get ready to go racing again. Ooh. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. So Ricardo is the safety car now, but he's surely going to be coming in. It's going so slow. Come on. Ricardo's gone for it. Well, I think they're coming into the pit, surely. Yeah. We're still out, so now we're the lead car. Stewart now disabled DRS. DRS is now disabled. Oh, it's still a bit slippy though. But now we lead the race. Raikkonen's in second. Hulkenberg is in third place. Nico Hulkenberg online for his first ever podium here. This could be absolutely crucial to the race. Here comes Raikkonen. He's trying to take his opportunity while he's got it. We're having a look down the inside. Big lock up, but we're through. That is very important that we've managed to hold off Kimi. And Hulkenberg's in a second now. This is absolutely crazy. Oh, the amount of pressure on me is unbelievable. What a crazy Grand Prix this could turn out to be. I think we've got the race under control now. We've just got to sort of nurse the car to the finish. Well, guys, it's been quite uneventful since uh, the restart of the race. Uh, we managed to build the gap to Kimi behind and he himself passed Hulkenberg so uh, it's going to be as you were sort of me in first with Kimi in second and Hulkenberg third but we take our second Grand Prix victory in Formula 1 with victory at the German Grand Prix Superb driving that's the race win Brilliant stuff from Mercedes today that's another historic win and Anthony Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bumped up. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'm going to say Carlos Sainz. 
It was probably one of his best drives this season, and I was thoroughly impressed. On to the constructors then. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling instalment of this Formula One season. So there we have it then. We win the German Grand Prix as Lewis Hamilton is disqualified. And that has brought everybody back into it, really. Even Max Verstappen is almost within a race victory of the championship lead, which is shared by myself and Hamilton. Although Hamilton leads the championship courtesy of five Grand Prix victories this season. So, shall we continue on? See if we get some sort of interview. We haven't done one on the channel for a while, so let's press forward. But that was an impressive victory. Unfortunately, not a lot of action in the Grand Prix, but we made the right strategic call anyway. We should have won it, really and we did. You made it look easy. You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? That would be telling. <laughs> How are you feeling after that win? Uh, I'd say the durability department. Things are looking up after last week, aren't they? Um, let's go for that. You must be thrilled to be up on the podium. go appreciate your time so there we go We've done our media interview we're off to the the paddock now and and hopefully we'll be having a, a nice celebrate after winning that grand prix we shall see if there's any sort of contract negotiations or whatever to be done i think it'll be after the next grand prix but this is the rivalry screen you can see lewis has completely um won this one there's Probably no way we're going to pass him now in that uh, department. But we are absolutely trouncing Sebastian Vettel. So that is good at least. We've got some uh, resource points. And you can see how our standing is with most of the teams now. Very, very good. Um, it's actually worse with Mercedes of them all. Uh, but definitely we'd be able to go up to Ferrari at this point, which is really, really good, to be That's honest exactly with you. the kind of result I'm looking for. Keep it up. So there we have it. That is going to be the end of this episode. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.